Thank you so much, Richard. It's really a pleasure to be here, and I think uh, Rick Tua put it very well. It's nice to come here uh, and work with colleagues and leave with them being friends. So whether it's Darla in Austin, Katrina and Quinn, so many of you who um, I'm getting to know now, I, I look forward to working with you in these areas and having fun with you in these areas for, for many years to come. So I'm also uh, very cognizant of the fact that I'm what is keeping you from going out into the beautiful outdoors and from lunch. So um, in looking at the program that uh, uh, Rick had put together and the topic he assigned me, I um, have really just two goals in uh, this talk. I want to talk about what I think is a new level of responsibility that we have as neurosurgeons in this profession that we love, and also to kind of bring it home, as Rick says, by summarizing all the opportunities to meet that new duty or responsibility that we now have. And one of the things that you've been starting to see as the morning has gone on is that there's some repetition of what's going on. It, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because I think that what we're seeing is that this very successful neurosurgery embrace of the global surgery effort is highly matrixed so that some of us are the conductor of the symphony of one effort and others are playing the strings, but then in another area of global neurosurgery, we may be the conductor and the former conductors are playing the strings. And that is what is going to deliver uh, repetition and reliability, as Allison says, which is what we need to take these efforts from being at a risk of being uh, medical neocolonialism and make them truly efforts that are going to change the world. So with that, let me just get started. Uh, so thank you. I, I am sorry that I didn't have the super wounds photo, but next time I give this talk, I'll try to insert it. <laughs> I love that. But uh, Richard, what a great example of that you have made for all of us, um, and I'm really honored to be part of it. So you've all seen this slide. This is the, the task that we, as a discipline, have in front of us, that there are 5 million unmet neurosurgical operations every year and 23,000 additional neurosurgeons. So that feels like a new problem, and the globalism of it f uh, feels new as well, but in fact, we are a 100-year-old specialty, and it was William Mayo who, in 1919, after hearing Harvey Cushing give a talk, stood up and said, gentlemen, Marie, it was a gentleman at that time, gentlemen, we have just witnessed the birth of a new specialty, neurological surgery. So neurosurgery isn't new. We're in our second 100 years. Nor is globalism. If you look at who have been our great leaders, and who have really, by their careers, pushed the specialty forward. Um, you can look at the names, or if you're an amateur vexillologist like I am, you can look at the flags, but you can see that it's not just North America leading the way. There have been many nations that have really colored uh, the way we think of modern neurosurgery today. So volunteering in neurosurgery, and I've included this dictionary definition because I knew that we had lawyers in uh, our midst as well and wanted to be sure that, that that was mentioned. But in fact, neurosurgeons have always done things that were volunteer, which is defined as not entering into a transaction without a legal obligation to do so or by some definitions not being paid to do so. But here's a central point that I, I want to make and then hopefully be able to back it up with examples, and that is that we, the new thing that's happening, the reason why there's never been a better time to be involved in global neurosurgery is because we as a discipline have taken on an enhanced definition of what it is to be a neurosurgeon. And so now, 
beyond just taking the best possible care of that patient who is in front of us day after day, week after week. Now we also consider it a core duty of being a neurosurgeon to advocate for access to high quality neurosurgical care for everyone, everywhere. And I'd like to give some examples of why I really think that change in culture has started to occur in our, in our profession. So global neurosurgery, as you can see, is a rapidly emerging focus of practice for many neurosurgeons, both individuals and departments. This picture is taken from that Wild Cornell Symposium that's been referred to. And look at these handsome fellows and ladies. This is, this is the great benefit that we have at the AANS in that our past presidents and our... Hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.